Hey everybody, Tom here. We're going to do a video on the Siri Cam P2P camera, the older style I call it. It actually comes with a disc. If yours comes with a disc, then you don't have an old style. You got this camera and it might be a little hard or confusing. Uh, this camera you can actually set an IP address, change the IP address and set a port for it. So you're able to view it from laptops or from a lot of uh, IP camera programs. Um, and add it to your phone. Some smartphone programs go with this also. Uh, the other other one I showed you was Siri Cam that only worked with Android. I wasn't able to ha I wasn't able to figure out how to do that with a port and use it on what I'm going to show you right now. So anyhow, first thing you get your camera out, you plug it in, you let it boot up without the Ethernet cord in it. Doesn't matter right now because I want you to reset the parameters on it. Take a paper clip, find the reset button on it. Go ahead and reset it so it clears all the data out of it and then go ahead and unplug it I've already cleared it let it reboot I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it now take the power cord out wait a second now I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back in I'm also gonna plug in my Ethernet cable that runs to my router and one of the four ports in the back of the router go ahead and plug it in after you plug the power in that'll take a minute to boot up while it's booting up, go ahead and put your disk in your drawer your, of your laptop. It'll come to this screen here. First screen is asking ask you what language you would like. So we'll go ahead and say English. The second screen will be what you need to download to make this work on your laptop and to make the camera wireless. Pretty much everything on the top row you will have to download. The bottom row is Mac uh, and then questions and the user manual there's the user manual for it so my camera is booted up just finishing up here I've downloaded a lot of this what I'm going to want to open is the P2P ID finder I've already downloaded that so I will open this up will come a page that has the camera populated on already it's recognized it some other information. It has a port number of 48. What I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here to General tab. It's already on General. I'm going to highlight the camera and it will populate this area over here. It's showing me port 81, the IP camera. It has a dynamic IP. We're going to click on that and change it to fixed. Fixed IP the port we want to change the port number so you highlight the port area you can backspace to erase it the 81 I'm gonna put in port um, 444 okay I've got port 444 I'm gonna come over to the IP address of the camera which is 48 is the last two digits I'm gonna click within that box I'm gonna go backspace and I'm gonna put in 44 so I have a IP number of dot forty four and an HTT port of four four four. Makes it easier, makes it difficult, I don't know. So go ahead and click apply at the bottom of the page. At this point you would get a weird looking box that pops up. <laughs> Got me, it took me a while to figure it out. This is the camera username. There's no password, so you leave that blank. And you click on the left hand apply box. The camera will make a slight click and then it will reboot itself. A little click noise. At this point it will reboot itself and repopulate the page with the correct information. We'll be right back why it does that. Alright, the computer's the camera's rebooted itself. Uh, we have the changed IP of dot forty four. If I highlight that, it'll populate this and we have a port number of 444 and the fixed IP of 44. Next to get it to recognize your wireless system and go wireless you go to the open box on the page. It will ask for the camera's ID and username which username admin passwords blank which program I'm using. I'm using Google Chrome and there's the camera that far. Now we want to make it wireless. We go to the toolbox down here. We 
want to go to wireless LAN setting and you want to scan your networks in the area it'll come up with a list of your networks and you want to pick the one that applies to your household that you want to use all the time there's mine it recognizes that it needs a password I will enter the password of the home router and I will hit submit it will now reboot take about a minute we'll return alright the cameras rebooted it brought me back to the screen that we saw earlier I'll get back to Google Chrome there's my camera um, see it's moving but the ether, Ethernet still plugged in we'll go ahead and remove that at this time I have not unpowered the camera at all. It stayed plugged in the whole time. Remove the Ethernet, and then about 10 seconds later, there we go. So, no Ethernet, it is wireless. We know the IP address, it's dot 44. We know the port number is dot 44. So, what we have to do now is apply that to a program on my cell phone. Let's go ahead and get away from the screen there. So on your cell phone you want to download an IP program. I happen to like the Robert Chow um, IP program. Works good for me. I'll go ahead and open it. Alright, we'll go ahead and manage cameras. And we'll go ahead and say add camera. Back up here a little bit. Add camera. We want to add an IP camera. It'll ask me what brand. This brand works good with it. The Apexis J series or the V Star T series work with this program. Either one will will work good with it. I'm not going to bother renaming it because I don't really care. Uh, you want to put your address for your public IP address for your house. So that should be your public IP address, your port number for the camera which is 4444 you hit save you go back to camera edit and you hit test now it's not going to pop up because I didn't go to my router and port forward yet so we're going to stop set this off to the side let's go back to the laptop and do the important part open your router interface get to your router go from basic to advanced settings under advanced settings you want to go to setup on my particular if you have a Netgear router you're in luck you want to go to setup and you want to go to LAN setup so you click on LAN setup I gotta log in LAN setup and that allows me to reserve an IP address address reservation is what you want to see on the screen so you say yeah I want to add a new address to this so you pick add it will give you the list of all your attached devices on your router and hopefully one of them is dot 48 or dot 44 which is your camera if you've written that down you know which one it is if you memorized it there's your camera I want to say yeah I want to add that and it's going to ask me for a device name on the bottom which is, I'll just put test and then I'll say add add come back to the screen there it is and then you have to go to apply if you don't hit apply it's not going to take it on this screen in particular so I'll go ahead and apply that apply and that's going to reboot my router so it's going to be about a minute for that to take a hold we'll be right back okay we're back so what we've done we've fixed the IP on our camera it has a 192.168.1.44 that is fixed within the camera I've reserved the address on the router so it won't change 
Last thing I have to do is let the router know I want to see it from the outside. So we're going to go to advanced setup on the Netgear router type deal. Yours might be different, it might be in NAT gaming. So we want to go to port forwarding, port triggering. There's the screen and we want to add a custom service. So we're going to say add. And we will find our camera here. It populated the IP address. We want to put a service name. That's the name you name the camera, whether it's front of the house, back of the house, it doesn't matter. I'm going to name it test. And we're going to put the port number in there. We have the port number. It is the external port range and the internal port range should be the same. TCP or UDP should be marked. You're not sure which one it is, so it will take care of that in deciding for you. We will hit apply. At that point, we have our test with the port number, and there's no other place to apply it, so we are done with that. So if everything is correct on my camera, and everything is correct with that, I will hit the test this time. It will recognize that I port forwarded it, and it should come up with a picture on my phone. Could not connect one moment. I forgot to save it. Let me go back and test it. Wrong screen. One moment. Edit. Test. It says still cannot connect. So I've done something that it doesn't like. I have the correct port. I have the correct password with no password on it. I have that done. Let me see if I have anything else that I've forgotten on that. Let me edit the service and take a look at it. Four, 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 test, apply, I hit apply, I'll do apply again, just in case. should uh, do it so I'm not sure where we're at on that we'll find out one moment okay we'll just pick back up on my mistake here I named the port the same as another um, unit I had so I'm going to change the port number um, to I had the wrong port number 444 triple four is what I should have had I'll hit apply Triple four is now port forwarded. If I go back to my Android program and get rid of one of the fours, tell them I'm done, uh, done again, save, go back to edit on my phone and test. And there's the camera on the on the cell on my cell phone. So that's what you need to do, port forwarding, get back here to the camera itself, right there, and we're wireless all the way through the router to my phone. To get to the uh, camera from any laptop, you would want to punch in your, you'd want to put in your public IP address, the two dots, and then the port number, and hit enter up in the, uh, in the search bar on the very top of your browser. Not in the browser itself, but if I went back to a, uh, I went back to my first web page and type the ID address up in here in this box, not down in this box. Type your public IP address, two dots, your port number, hit enter, it will go to that camera. Alright, that was a little lengthy, sorry about the delay. I hope it helps out. If I can make it shorter, I'll do that. But uh, anyhow, later. Take care.